Rahu and his father. They are watching garden, so they take it, they are taking care of it. So to make to make it safe for the garden, they go to make. along with the garden so his father want to purchase a wine before they want to purchase a wine so he wants to know what is the length of the bar wine to be used for this garden so he said to Mr. Rahu to measure that so Rahu took measuring tape and started one of the point is started in one of the point of the border of Gali and he took one round, completed one round and uh, he completed where he started at initial point. So as he completed one round around the Gali, so that must be the boundary of the Gali which he measured. So the boundary of the garden is nothing but perimeter big mark. So this is the perimeter of the garden. So after getting the measurement, they purchase the wine and they fix the wine around the garden. So today we are going to learn about perimeter and area also. So about the perimeter so to find out the area of a figure let's take triangle the triangle is nothing but a simple closer figure bounded by three line segments it has three sides to find out area of the triangle ABC or triangle we add all the three sides of it we name it ABC, then AB plus BC plus AC, sum of all the sides is called as perimeter of the figure. So we take, for example, we take coordinator, coordinator ABCD, we add all the four sides of it ABC, CD, and AD. By the signs, four signs, and we add all these four signs. Length of its boundary is called as the perimeter of the coordinator. Similarly, we find out for all the figures, like if you take pentagon, or a hexagon, or a septagon, octagon, pentagon, decagon, or all the figures. We'll add all the sides of it that we call them we call them perimeter of that figure. Perimeter is nothing but the boundary of the figure, boundary of the thing or the place what we have taken. It is called perimeter. So let's take triangle. For example, it's a triangle ABC and we add all the three sides of it AD plus BC plus AC we call it its perimeter so if you take these are having some names so we can represent the side of triangle with a small letter AB is small A and BC is small C and AC is small B then so we take triangle ABC, AB plus BC plus AC is perimeter of triangle we call. So we can represent the side of a triangle with one letter of a variable. We take a small letter, a small alphabet, small letter, and AB we see as small c and bc as small a and ac small b so when we add this all the three signs 
of it it is small c this is small a and uh, the ac small b is perimeter of triangle so the perimeter of triangle is a plus b plus c it's a perimeter of triangle so we take a quadrilateral for example
know that? Perimeter is sum of all the sides of an figure. So, AB plus DC plus CD plus AD. But we know that all the sides of square are equal. That is AB is equal to BC is equal to CD is equal to AD. So in this place of AB, let's write the same thing. So AD is equal to BC. So we can write in this place as AB. So reason is all are equal to AB. So this is also will really form AB because AB is also equal to AB is equal to BC. AB is equal to CD. AB is equal to AD. So AB is also equal to CD and AB is also equal to AD. So what we got here, AB all are equal to AB. That's the reason AB plus AB plus AB plus AB. So we here we add all the ABs and we get four times of AB. This is four times of AB. So generally we say that this is a sign of square. So sign of a square we will represent as a small s or sometimes we represent as capital S also. So four into side. A B is a sign that is 4 into S, small s. It's nothing but perimeter of a square. 